Crypto adoption has been picking up steam around the world, but things in India are still unclear. If we look back at the last week or so, we have seen El Salvador become the first country to purchase crypto as a country and Ukraine making them legal in their own country after being in a state of regulatory limbo. But what about India? Well, it's still up in the air for now. The RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das said that the RBI has conveyed its serious and major concerns about digital currency, but Chairman of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Finance Jayant Sinha said, our solution will have to be distinct and unique for India simply because of our unique circumstances. We'll be talking more about this on this week's Crypto Unfiltered. Hey, I'm Cyrus and here's where we try and make sense of the exciting world of cryptocurrency. So let's begin. हम बात करेंगे क्रिप्टो मार्केट के बारे में दैट हैज बीन मोर बंपियर देन एन ऑटो राइड ऑन डेली रोड्स आफ्टर द रेन and it's it's terrible by the way let's zoom out a little though and get a macro view of 2021 baki crypto ki tulna mein bitcoin sabse purana aur sabse zyada popular crypto hai to isliye pure market ke liye bitcoin ko ek value ke taur par ek acha indicator mana jata hai one year ago bitcoin was holding around 10000 dollars and through four months rallied up to 40000 dollars in april it peaked at around 60000 before dropping to half as much and we've been hearing about a bear market ever since but then earlier in september it had rallied to $50000 and while the value has seen a drop again it's holding a lot higher than it used to be the overall crypto market has also grown a lot and the tokens that we dismiss as memes like dogecoin went up from under 50 paise to over 50 rupees and while it also crashed you still have to pay nearly 20 rupees for one doge token if you are an investor that means that even in the bear market the crypto economy is still doing a whole lot better than it was last year and that is why i keep repeating don't look for short term wins think long term सो so, जब हम लॉन्ग टर्म की बात कर ही रहे हैं तो भारत में क्रिप्टो का क्या स्टेटस है 15 मिलियन पीपल आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन क्रिप्टो एंड इट रेंजेस फ्रॉम इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर्स टू इन्वेस्टमेंट्स बाय पीपल यू नेवर सस्पेक्टेड वर टेक्निकली इंक्लाइंड बट एज ऑफ नाउ क्रिप्टो करेंसी इज स्टिल इन अ ग्रे एरिया इन इंडिया विथ इट सिंपली नॉट बींग रेगुलेटेड सो इट्स नॉट लीगल और इलीगल वी कॉट अप विथ फैसल कसुआ chief analyst at tech arc to talk about what he has been hearing in the space what is the status of cryptocurrency in india and with so many companies big and small working in the space what do you think is likely to happen so with respect to cryptocurrency in india right now it's an exploratory stage it happens with every business essentially in the digital space that when the business is at exploratory stage there are various permutation and combinations which result up into organizations that's exactly what's happening in india right now but at the same time a lot of investors not only mature ones but even immature investors are trying out this space uh, putting in some money just for experiment basis i don't see right now very serious investors on the platform what is the potential size of the crypto industry and not just the crypto investing in india like the e-commerce boom that happened a decade ago do you see crypto in india also as the beginning of a major new industry right now it would be too early to kind of uh, assess how big the opportunity looks like because there are too many assumptions which are around uh, to factor such a model Uh, but at the same time uh, a lot of youngsters are you know experimenting this channel putting in small amounts and you know looking for early gains out there 
Now, while that's good, but at the same time, it's not healthy for any investment channel or investment portfolio, so to say. Uh, we need to still watch out how this pans out. Uh, otherwise, it looks very, very promising. Outside of exchanges, what are some of the other interesting startups in this space that you are tracking and why do you think they are exciting? There are, you know, at the moment, uh, a lot of startups working in this space. Uh, essentially, cryptocurrency is just like a framework, a logical framework, a reference framework uh, around which everybody is trying to introduce uh, a cryptocurrency, uh, you know, alternative for people to explore. So this will continue for some time. We'll come to see a lot of you know new variants of cryptocurrencies, but eventually, uh, not all of them will survive and sustain. Uh, some of them will have to die, and you know, uh, probably the best performing platforms will uh, see uh, investors uh, going with, and they will eventually survive the game. In our Catch Up With Crypto segment, we talk about the developments in the world of crypto that matter to you. इस हफ्ते हम बात करेंगे एक लीगल एक्सपर्ट से और जानने की कोशिश करेंगे कि क्रिप्टो का इंडिया में फिलहाल क्या स्टेटस है हम ये भी जानने की कोशिश करेंगे कि क्रिप्टो बिल अगर आया तो इसका इन्वेस्टर्स और इंडस्ट्री पर क्या फर्क पड़ेगा एंड द बिग वन इज दैट क्रिप्टो माइट फाइनली बी गेटिंग रेगुलेटेड इन इंडिया वे आर स्टिल इन दर्ली डेज एंड देर हैव बिन नो ऑफिशियल स्टेटमेंट येट बट रिपोर्ट सजेस्ट दैट द गवर्नमेंट विल डिफाइन क्रिप्टो करेंसी एज अ कमोडिटी विच विल अलाउ इट टू बी ट्रेडेड एंड विल ऑल्सो ओपन इट अप for taxation in india right now we are saying that crypto is unregulated for someone like me who does not have any legal background can you explain what that means unregulated just means that there are no regulations around it there are no rules or regulations published by the government or by any regulator so there's no sebi there's no rbi there's no stock exchange around it but that doesn't mean that that's going to continue to be the position it just means that it's presently not regulated we know that the government is has introduced a bill it may well uh, be regulated in the future i mean i hope it's going to be regulated and not banned um but from your perspective it just means that at present there are no regulations but there are likely to be regulations in the future that will regulate how what you do with cryptocurrencies and so just to be clear that means that as of now it is fine for me to try different cryptocurrencies or buy and sell them on exchanges i'm not trying to use them as a currency and pay for things but only as assets that can be invested in and all these investments are being done with kyc so unless there is a law this should be fine that's a good question at the moment it's fine but is it going to be fine tomorrow is it going to be fine in 6 months we know that the government is looking to regulate it they should be looking to regulate it because cryptocurrencies are a reality people are investing they see them as as a good asset class to invest in i'm not commenting on whether it is or isn't a good asset class but investments are being made so it may be fine at the moment but don't hold your horses because it may not be fine in 6 months time if it is regulated or indeed banned so you need to be very careful when you make those investments okay now let's try a little future telling according to news reports sources are saying that a crypto bill is in the works and it will allow people to invest in crypto as a commodity from a legal standpoint can you tell us what it means if crypto is formally recognized as an asset What does it mean for me as someone who wants to invest a little money in crypto? I hope that does happen. I hope it is recognized formally as an asset class that Indians can invest in. Um what it means from your perspective is that like say an in investment in securities you may have to pay income tax on it, you may have to pay capital gains tax on it, you may have to make disclosures in your financial statements regarding your investments in cryptocurrencies. It's also entirely possible that the government may restrict the use of cryptocurrencies. they will be concerned about um, anti money laundering they will be concerned about terror financing they may well be restrictions on whether you can use it to make certain purchases regardless of whether tesla allows you to use it or not
Okay, so these were some really interesting perspectives from our two experts this week. Now let's take a look at what's been happening in the crypto world in September. Bitcoin continues to be the top name in the world of crypto and Ethereum remains a solid contender as well thanks to huge interest in the world of NFTs. Just a couple of weeks ago, a Bored Ape Yacht Club collection of 101 NFTs was sold for almost 25 million dollars. The collection was auctioned by the famous Sotheby's auction house which also auctioned a second similar collection for 1.8 million dollars. Bitcoin also spiked to its highest price since May and has been doing a lot better after the summertime slump. Meanwhile, two tokens that were designed to be much more scalable takes on the blockchain 2.0 tech Solana and Cardano have both also grown significantly and are a major part of the ecosystem today, which comes back to what the experts have been telling us. Invest in the fundamentals, in the technology that actually solves a problem, because that's where the long-term value is. And speaking of investments, with this turbulent period underway, what is the state of crypto by the numbers? Right now, if you look at the figures on our crypto tracker, you can see that Bitcoin is up by 3.28%, while Ethereum is also up by 4.62%. Cardano is also doing good with an increase of 4.43%, while Tether is down by 0.62%. Dogecoin also seems to be doing good with a 4.51% increase. It's chaotic and volatile but if you've been tracking this regularly as we have then you can start to see that there is some overall picture emerging that is quite exciting. But for now it's going to also depend on what the government says as the experts have told us. That's it for Crypto Unfiltered this week. If you have any questions regarding crypto send them to us on our Twitter and Facebook pages and we'll have an expert answer them for you. Till next week, this is Cyrus John signing off with the promise that I'll be back with more crypto gyan. Stay tuned.